I have been taking $1.25 and turning it into $5,000 with just using an Amazon return store. Now, if you don't know what that is, just picture a giant warehouse and filled with Amazon returns. And what they do is every single day is a different price. So it starts at like Friday, $14, and it goes all the way down to Wednesday or Thursday for just $1. All you have to do is run in there and be the first one to find the item. We're doing really well with this series, so let's keep going. All right, so we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently today. Uh, first of all, these are going to be Wednesday and Thursday sales, uh, and you're gonna see the total funds that we have, the sales, the fees, and everything on screen. Um, I'm also going to extend this a little bit just so I can talk about what this video is going to be like. So basically what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be showing you each item and if the item has sold already or not because we're basically a month or so out from me recording all of these uh, and a good portion of this stuff has already sold. So in order for me not to drag the video out really long, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what sells, do the breakdown, and we'll keep things moving that way. You can see our total funds available in the top left. And whenever something pops up on the screen and you see a green little check that says delivered or an item that says shipped, that means the item has already sold and I'm gonna be calculating that into our funds. The next day. We started off really strong today with this Yale lock. Uh, it actually sold the next day, thankfully. Um, I wasn't able to do a whole lot of recording is because most of you know, if you've been watching, Fridays are very hectic. And I did have my son and my fiance with me today. Uh, we just were kind of walking around having some fun, but I did manage to make a good amount of money. And here are the stats for you. In the top right, we'll have $94.16 spent. We had $347 in sales minus our fees. And we ended up with $207.84 back, and our total funds are on screen. Tomorrow. All right, this is another quick one, but the important thing is at the end of all this, we ended up with $4,226.64. Later. Something I wanted to say really quick as all this stuff shows in the background is that you really have to kind of diversify if you're going to be an everything seller. I know a lot of content creators really tell you to niche down and I think that's true, but if you are going to be an everything seller, you really do need to try to learn as much as you possibly can and try not to lock into one thing too much. All right, on this day we spent $85.60. We ended up with $207 in sales minus our fees. We had $152 in profit, which brings our total to $4,378 the next day i've actually started looking through the clothing more often on these days now because i'm really surprised at what i'm finding uh, these dickies overalls have actually been really good um, specifically the female sizes smaller sizes do really well i've actually sold through three or four of them at this point woolies is actually a surprise too as it's like an under layer for runners uh, and these pants were okay but they sold pretty quick these kodak version of camera has actually been popping up all over the place and they seem to sell really fast. People have always asked me how I know about all these random items and the truth is I don't really know a whole lot. I mean I, I do know a few things because I have been doing it for a few years at this point but really if you see me in person I'm always looking in my phone just looking the item up so that's really the important thing to do. Today we spent $135.89. We had $640 in sales Minus our fees, we got $427 back, and our funds are $4,806. The next day. These magic cards were okay, but if you know anything about me, you know that I love these high quantity listings. I'll take it any day. It's just, it's not a lot of work at all. One thing I will say about cards though, is you want to make sure that they're completely sealed or they have the factory, you know, seal on them because a lot of people will open these big expensive booster packs and then they'll return the box because Amazon just doesn't care so just keep an eye out for that. One more thing I want to get on my soapbox about is sell through rate. I know I've talked about it before and I'll probably talk about it in the future but it really was the biggest thing that changed my reselling career was paying attention to that. Um, I'll probably do a little bit more of a video on that in the future but when you're on the eBay app and you type in an item to check for solds and you click filter in that bottom section of the filter section, it's going to have the actual number of listings. And then if you click on sold, it'll tell you the number of sold items that have come through as well in the past 90 days. So if the sold number is higher than the listed items, then you've got a good solid item that's going to sell very quickly. And if you have a higher number of listed items compared to sold listings, then it's not a bad item. It's just going to take a lot longer to sell. And that's just what I started focusing on. And it pretty much changed everything. Today we spent $58.87, we had $264 in sales minus our fees, we got $183 back, and our new total is $4,989. A few moments later. Alright, and with this box of pesticide, 
we are officially done with the series. So we sold this for $130 free shipping, and uh, I don't even have to do all the fees and breakdown to know that we actually made it to the $5,000 goal. The interesting thing about this is that it is currently March 15th. So uh, the dates that you were just seeing were around February 23rd. So we actually finished the series on February 24th, but I haven't been doing a lot of the numbers because I always do it when I'm editing a video. So I do have some stats for you guys though. I thought you might be interested in them because um, I think they're pretty cool. So the remaining inventory that we have right now is currently sitting at $1,910 in active listings, um, which I think is pretty, pretty interesting. Um, so there's also been a time frame where you guys haven't seen. So it's been basically three weeks from the 23rd to now. We've done a good amount of sales in that time period from things that you haven't seen. Uh, total sales was $2,746. Um, that's minus shipping, of course. Um, fees were about $466 from that. And then cost of goods is a little bit complicated to break down, and I like you guys a lot, but I'm not gonna go spend hours and hours trying to figure out three weeks of inventory cost. But I do usually hover around 30 to 35%. That is my average uh, for cost of goods. So $684 is what we'll sit at um, for overall cost of goods for the past few weeks, which puts us at a profit of $1,596 uh, from the Amazon stores um, for things that you guys haven't seen. So sorry you haven't seen it. And finally, a lot of you guys have been asking about the uh, time to complete this challenge. How long did it take me? Um, and I have those numbers for you guys as well. So it's a little bit complicated because I started for about a week and then I stopped because the holidays came around and I stopped. I talked about that in the first video. If you haven't seen it, you should go check that out. Um, but I spent about a week uh, the first time around on finding inventory. And then I picked it back up about early January. So um, the total amount of time that it took to reach $5,000 was 40 days. It took 40 days to get there of me actively looking and listing and, and recording and everything. I'm gonna cut this in because I did wanna talk about this too. I just totally forgot to bring it up while I was recording it the first time around. But um, the total amount of refunds that we took during this series, um, so we're talking uh, probably about two and a half-ish months or so of returns and the total number was $950. Now that doesn't change the number that I told you at all because everything I told you already factored in those returns, um, but that is just the nature of the Amazon returns. So you do make sure that everything looks good and if it turns on and you know functions basically, but I do have a return policy for a reason, right? I do let them know in the description and, and whatever. Um, and just to put that in perspective for you, that's like 80% of my returns. <laughs> like all my other sourcing that I do from Goodwills and flea markets and whatever is only 20% uh, of my total returns. So um, I will say for returns that uh, just because someone wants to return it doesn't mean I don't sell it again. I do sell a lot of the returns that I get back. People just didn't like them. They don't know how to work them, whatever. Um, you know, about half the time the item just doesn't work or it gets lost in the mail, which I had a few of those. Um, one guy's package just got completely destroyed and that was about an $80 return. So, you know, that's just kind of the nature of this, but um, yeah, it doesn't change anything, but it is something to consider if you're wanting to do something like this. Now it has also been another three weeks or so since then, and I'll combine all the numbers on the screen for you to give you kind of a final total here. But um, that's about it. So if you guys have any more questions about uh, this process or anything like that, I'd, I'd love to know, I'd love to answer them. Um, this isn't the end of the Amazon videos. I am gonna be doing them a little bit differently. Um, I just don't particularly like the style of this. However, um, I kinda wanna come up with a new, a new format for these videos, so. I think that does it for this video. So I appreciate you all uh, for, for those people who watch pretty much every episode. And for those of you who tuned in towards the end, I, I think I got a little bit more traction towards the end, which I think happens with a lot of these series. And if you've made it through the whole video, I really appreciate it. I know I say it every time, but it does mean a lot to me that um, there are some people that are sticking around and watching every video that I make. So um, I think that's all I have. And I will see you guys next time.